Hey everyone, Isaac Brooks here with uh, another video, and today I'm going to be reading another Red Bat story. Well, this one, a bit of a shorter one, so let that be known. Uh, this one is going to be another one from this perspective of uh, Duke slash Red Bat. So let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Dick Brooks. I'll be telling you all a story about the time me, my brother Tom, and my friends, I really forgot I didn't put Tom in that part, I just kind of revised that bit. Anyway, uh, and my friends found some treasure that was buried near our old school. Now, keep in mind, this happened way before I got my powers and became Red Bat. So, no powers are going to be mentioned or, and or used in this story. This happened when we were all still in grade school, during a recess time. Me, Tom, Erica, and Luke were playing by the sandbox and noticed that there was a big clump of dirt over some of the grass. What do you think could be there? asked Erica. It almost looks like it could be where something was buried, replied Luke. I respond to that by saying, yeah, it does look like that. Tom went to get a closer look and said, you might just be right. We thought about <clears throat> what we should do in regards to that. We ended up on trying to dig up the dirt to see if what we thought was true, and as it turns out, we were right. One of the teachers wondered what we were doing, and we told her that we were digging up treasure, and she thought we were just having fun and being creative. That was until the new kid at the time, whose name is Seamus, said, that is real. My great-grandfather buried that there before this place even became a school. Now that teacher began to believe us and went on her own business. I asked Seamus, so what exactly is this? Well, if I'm to believe if I am to believe what I was told, that there box has a lot of gold in it, along with other things of that nature. Erica replied by saying, that's really cool. Luke asked, how long has this been here? About 30 years or so, replied Seamus. That makes a lot of sense. Just look at the box itself, remarked Tom. <clears throat> the box had all kinds of markings and dents on it. It's honestly surprising it was able to hold up after all these years. What should we do with this? asked Erica. I respond by saying, maybe we should let Seamus have the treasure, after all, his great-grandfather was the one who placed it here. That's true, replied Luke. So we gave the treasure to Seamus, and he opened the box to see if everything that should be in it was still there. It looks like everything is still here, he said. To this day, Seamus still has that very box, and we all talk about and look back on that very day. Oh, just in case you were wondering, no, we didn't get in trouble for this. And yes, Seamus knows about the Red Bat stuff. The end. So, yeah, that's that story. And at some point in the future, I uh, will be, I will read a uh, kind of spinoff slash follow-up to that with uh, Seamus talking a little bit about that, and then 
give like a little bit of insight on him. So be on the lookout for that. So until then, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment if you have any. And until the next video, which I'm not really sure what that's going to be and when it's going to be, I'll see you next time. Until then, as a brick signing off. Bye.